17 days until Election Day, 470 Senate and House seats up for grabs, along with 36 seats for governor. And the closer we get to that date, the closer the race is right now. And they're just too close, close to call in some, pla in some places. Both parties barnstorming across America this morning in the final push to the polls. Joining me now, Florida Senator Rick Scott in the middle of his Take Back Our Country tour. And Senator Scott, welcome back to the National Desk. Great to see you. Yep, I'm traveling around the country, helping our candidates make sure they win. We have just a few days out. I hope everybody gets out and votes. Uh, this is your this is your opportunity to pick who's going to have the opportunity to govern over the next two or four years. And so I hope everybody gets out and, and gets out and votes. And Senator, your tour is making stops in 15 different states. What are the most important races you feel the tour needs to hit at this point? Well, Wisconsin to help Ron Johnson win. Uh, Pennsylvania to make sure Mehmet Oz wins. I'm right now in North Carolina on my way to Arizona. So that's both Ted Budd and Blake Master. Yesterday, I was with Herschel Walker in Georgia. I'll be with Adam Laxo, uh, I think tomorrow afternoon uh, in Nevada. Uh, then I'll be with Joe O'Day uh, on, uh, I think it's on Sunday. So those are the ones, although we have opportunities in the state of Washington, I plan on being out there. Uh, we have opportunities in uh, New Hampshire, I'll be there. We have opportunities in Connecticut, I'll be there. So these are, this, this is where the Senate, the control of the Senate is gonna be. I believe we're gonna get 52 plus. Uh, we just have to keep working hard every day to get our votes out. Senate Go vote. <laughs> right. Senator, what does this high early vote turnout tell you as to which party voters could be favoring at this point? Well, there way, there's way more energy on our side. Uh, and it, there's a reason. The Biden agenda is completely rejected by the American public. They don't like high inflation. They don't like an open border. They don't like high crime. They, don't, they want parents involved in schools. They don't like what happened in, Af in Af Afghanistan. So uh, this is, I mean, they're rejecting the, de the Democrat agenda. And all these incumbents on the Democrat side have voted for all this stuff. It's not where the public is. They don't, they don't like this school bailout of rich kids. Have you know? Have some a construction worker pay for some lawyer from Harvard? I mean, this is crazy. What what Biden's doing? According to a New York Times Siena College uh, a poll, independent women voters, in particularly, swung dramatically to the right just in the past month. In fact, in September, women voters who considered themselves independents favored Democrats by 14 points. But now, independent women back Republicans by 18 points. So what do you attribute to that shift? Well, these women are going to the grocery store. They're going to the gas station. Uh, they know they, they care about their kids' education. They know the Democrats want to teach critical race theory. They're scared to death now of crime. Crime's everywhere around the country. They're scared to death of the border. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're going to vote based on what impacts their family. They want low inflation. They want a job market. They want parents involved in schools. They want a low crime rate. That's, that's how they're going to vote. And they're going to vote for Republicans all across the country. They're going to rejecting the Democrat agenda. We got some stunning news yesterday, of course, that broke of British Prime Minister Liz Truss abruptly resigning after 45 days. And she said some of that was because of this extreme inflation, inflation there over 10 percent in the U.K. What did you make of her resignation? Well, I think here's what's important to me. They're our greatest ally. Uh, we've got to do everything we can to help them you know, deal with their inflation like we're dealing with ours. Uh, what I don't understand about the Biden administration, they're not even trying to get a free trade agreement done uh, with Great Britain. We've got to start, we've got to help them succeed just like I want them to help us succeed. Uh, they're our greatest ally, and so I think we've got to do everything we can to help them uh, make sure their economy is good just like ours is. And Senator, finally, I want to discuss the president's decision to open up the strategic oil reserves. The White House also right now asking the very oil companies that has previously demonized to produce more oil. What is the GOP plan to get these prices down if if the GOP does control one or both houses of Congress? And how would this even happen with President Biden still in office the next two years? Well, but Biden's, Biden understands supply and demand. Uh, he's just doing it the wrong way. He understands that by putting this, uh, taking this oil out of the strategic oil reserve, he's reducing the cost of oil right now for, for a short period of time. Now, he's putting this in a horrible, horrible position from national security. What we've got to do is we've got to allow our oil and gas companies to drill safely. We're the cleanest drillers in the world. We want to be energy independent. We, we have to be energy independent for ourselves and to help our allies. And so what we're going to do on the GOP side is we're going to make sure that we get the permits out. We're going to make sure we allow these oil and gas companies to drill. We're not going to be attacking oil and gas companies. I want more oil and gas production so we can reduce the price so it helps families all across this country. I mean, think about what, what Biden's done to poor families that are picking. Like my mom had to choose between, do I put gas in the car or feed these kids? 
And that's what people are doing all across this country, especially in my state. People are going to food banks and they're never gone because of this high gas prices and inflation in grocery stores. It's Biden's agenda is horrible for poor families, horrible for people on fixed income right now. Florida Senator Risk Scott, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Have a great weekend. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.